Hi Hans, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, my name is Lucy, welcome and if you wonder why I'm sitting in this ridiculous headband, well because I'm channeling my inner princess Jasmine because Aladdin is hitting cinemas this week and I want to discuss with you limited edition MAC Aladdin collection and also I'm gonna dig into a few of Primark Aladdin products so hop in on my flying carpet Princess Jasmine is one of my favorite Disney characters. She is so beautiful with this black hair and dark skin. And on top of that, she is strong, independent, rich, and she finds herself a cute, naughty arm candy. And you have to respect that. I respect that. So I feel my duty is to talk about MAC Aladdin collection and in this collection of course you have eyeshadow palette with 9 shades, 4 lipsticks, 3 lip glosses, 1 loose pigment, lip glaze and black eyeliner and the whole collection is themed after the movie featuring Will Smith as a genie. Well, we'll see how it goes. Don't get dizzy before we start the trailer, don't get dizzy. Oh and the Primark collection is themed about good old days Disney cartoon and this collection is very limited actually. We have some false nails, lashes, a one eyeshadow palette which is huge. I thought it's gonna be this small but it's literally huge and the pan size is ridiculous but I didn't get this one because I already have one from MAC so I'm not gonna use two palettes, but there's a lot of clothes and home decor. You can even buy a gold lamp or genie face pillow. Okay, enough of me talking, let's put some makeup. Today I'm starting with the bare face because the first product I want to use is a crystal glaze gloss. Although it's hydrating lip gloss, I've heard you can use it all over the face, you can use it on the cheeks or if you want to have this glaze effect on the eyes, you can use this one. I'm gonna put this uh, on my cheeks because I wanna have this plumped, dewy skin. Oh, it smells so nice. It's this pearly, iridescent, quite thick balm. And I'm gonna put this in the areas when I would normally put a highlight. I don't know if you see this on camera, but in the mirror I see this dewy, glossy effect on the skin. So now I'm gonna grab my It Cosmetic CC Foundation in shade medium and my recently favorite Urban Decay Blurring Brush. It's amazing to apply foundation. That is what I was talking about. See, you have this nice dewy finish. So now I'm gonna apply my Jeffree Star Magic Star Concealer and I think the packaging fits today's theme so well. I know I'm doing such a messy job. Honestly, it doesn't matter. And I'm gonna go back to my Urban Decay brush and blend my concealer into my foundation. And recently this is my favorite complexion combo and I will put the links to my reviews of those products down below so if you want to go check this out feel free. I'm gonna do my powder contour and brows off camera and be right back. So let's dig into the palette the 9 eyeshadow princess jasmine palette from MAC. It comes in this lovely pink gold unicorn and it reminds me the dress that Princess Jasmine in the movie is wearing when she's walking down the stairs and this is something I see myself wearing. And the palette itself is gold with this pink ornament on top and inside you have very lovely eyeshadows and before we're gonna dig into those let's see what MAC has to say about this palette. A limited edition eyeshadow palette in nine smoky metallic and desert shades desert <coughs> Huda. From luscious gold to black and plum to duochrome blue green with red shimmer highly pigmented powder applies evenly blends well use wet or dry transform in specially designed opulent packaging inspired by the rich patterns and vibrant hues of Agraba if I pronounce the name of the city correctly 
I like the color story that we have here. We have those mats that's gonna be good as a base shade. We have some shimmers, a little bit of gold, plum, silver, and this almost black plum. This shade over here reminds me of one of the shades from Pat McGrath palette. So I'm gonna give it a swatch and I'm gonna compare with the Pat McGrath. And this shade's supposed to be like a color shifter, so it changes its color depending on how light's gonna hit this. This is the one from Pat McGrath. Okay, in the pan, those are so similar, but when you swatch this, those are totally different shades, so no scandal there. I'm gonna start with this pale pink as my base. Ooh, it evens out my skin so well as a base shade or even on its own when you want to put some makeup but you want to wear makeup no makeup look I can definitely recommend this one we are doing a middle eastern makeup so I think we need to put a little bit of liner so let me grab my Pat McGrath extreme black and I love this liner because it glides on the skin so damn smoothly and now I'm gonna blend this with a brush in the MAC collection there's also black eyeliner but I have so many so I couldn't justify buying another one okay the liner is on so let's get back into the palette as my main shade I'm gonna use this metallic in the middle and just simply apply this all over my lid and with a smaller brush I'm gonna dip into this purple at the end now I'm gonna go back to this light pink and smoke out all the top edges and with a small brush now we're gonna dig into this dark plum in the corner of the palette and no surprises I'm gonna put this in my outer corner and a little bit on my lash line okay from the dark plum we have a little bit of fallout but not too much so I'm not angry about this so for lower lash line, I'm gonna go back to this light pink and a little bit of the color shifter in my outer corners. Ooh, this color shifter, it's so nice, especially when you look up close. Now I'm gonna pack a little bit of this gold in the middle of my lid, just to bring a little bit more light to my eyes. And I'm gonna put this in my inner corners as well. And now I'm gonna go with a coat of Pat McGrath Fetish Eye Mascara because I don't feel comfortable without lashes. Mm, you know what? I'm gonna be honest. I'm not dying for this eye look. I think it's a little bit too messy and I don't know if it's MAC eyeshadows. I haven't used those in ages or maybe it's just not my makeup day. That could also be a tea, but Nevertheless, I'm not dying for this. But it is what it is, let's move on. And now I'm gonna go back to my Crystal Glaze Gloss. And this time I'm gonna apply this on the lips. And in the MAC Eyeladen collection, you have four lipsticks and three lip glosses. But I don't wanna grab something that I'm gonna use only once to film the video. I'm saving my money for something more exciting for new Jeffrey collection and the makeup workshops that are coming to London. And that's why from the whole MAC Aladdin collection I just got eyeshadow palette and this glaze because I think this is a very interesting product and you can use this in so many different ways. And I'm gonna put this on my cheeks as well to amplify the dewy effect. I don't know how you see this on camera, but in the mirror it looks stunning. And from Primark I also got only two things, this ridiculous headband and eyelashes. Well, you cannot have too many eyelashes and those are so long and fluffy, but the only annoying thing is they come without adhesive.
So now I'm gonna put them on and be right back. And this is the final look. Do I feel like Princess Jasmine? Mm, well, not exactly. I'm kind of living for this headband. It's so ridiculous that it's amazing. And the lashes, they are long, they are fluffy, and they were only two pounds, so I cannot complain. As far as MAC products go, well, the eyeshadow palette, I'm not dying for this. I think it's a little bit too messy, but as I said, I'm not 100% sure if it's the palette or it's just not my makeup day. But nevertheless, the messiness on the eyes, it's not the quality I'm used to. So for now, I'm giving it no. And the lip glaze, ooh, I'm living for this. It smells so nice. It's hydrating, it looks stunning on the lips and you can put this on the cheeks and it also looks amazing. And I'm gonna try this on my eyes as well. But to cut the long story short, I am super happy that I got this instead of lipstick or the lip gloss. And I think that it counts. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, as always, please click the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, share some love in the comments and as always, see you on the next one. Bye!